Hi guys, so we are here and we are back with chapter two of book two. Hopefully you guys enjoyed um, the last few videos I have posted. Um, sorry, this is going up a little late. Um, it's been kind of crazy. I did upload that in the last video. Um, so definitely go check that out. Um, I won't blabber on like normal. Um, so let's just get into chapter two and this is called my life as you know me. Um, well, it's Monday. You get a few pictures from your mother saying your little sister is finally here. You are so happy and can't wait to meet her soon. And you show your work friends your adorable baby sister with the crazy red hair of hers. But all you can see is your family is now a little bigger and you are happy to be her big brother. Have you set back to your mother? cute she how cute she is and how you will try to come home for christmas when you have a little bit of leave day saved up after the last few months of basic training then you message your father about your grandma's ring and how you would love to give it to casey for christmas as an engagement ring and hope it's the right size of course well, it's been a pretty good Monday for the both of you and Casey. She finally got that raise in her job. She needs her job. She needs. She got in in an award for helping veterans day walk that you both went to while in basic training together. Well, it's finally Friday, and you get a surprise message saying your leave was good to go for Christmas and that you're able to go home for the holidays. Now you just got to hope that Casey can come with you for those few days so you can pop the question in your hometown because that's something you wanted to do since you were a little boy, and this was my life getting a little older or a little odd. I know my story is very odd and open, but look, it's how my life is now, and I am so proud to share this crazy life with my amazing, wonderful girlfriend as I unfold my life to whoever wants to hear it as my life goes. And as this little small town, you're fixing to share the good news with Casey she is happy you got those days off and how she's able to go with you as well. In this moment, you get a phone call from your doctor saying everything came back good and you're all set. You look at Casey and just hug her with joy and happiness because it's just another step towards your family planning down the road. Now you, gotta, now you just got to make the last step of your milestone of this new life, which you are waiting until New Year. This is this has just been long milestone for you and your amazing family and you want to do something awesome for those who have helped and been there for you as you get ready to change the biggest part of your life. Well, it's Thanksgiving and you get to meet your girlfriend's parents this weekend and they live about three hours from the base here in Kentucky. Now you're all stressed because you want to make a good impression on them for the first time. This is where you wish your father lived closer to help you pick out a good tux for the big day as well. But hopefully they will love they will love you as much as Casey does, which should be easy since everyone loves you already. Well, now that your small lunch break is over, and you have to go back to work for the next few hours. You realize that next week it's your mother's birthday and you still haven't got you still haven't found a gift, but yet you did get her a card as well. How you are ready for Christmas to see everyone and meet the little cutie of your sister of yours who is growing so fast from all the pictures you get a day from your mother. Well it's finally the weekend and you're about to go watch a baseball with some of the co-workers from your, until your, plus Casey is playing in it and you can't be more happy or more proud of her, how she gets to play a sport for you until you are an awesome team player too. It's halftime and you are on the field doing a cheer that you have worked on for the past week. Now for this game, you see you are a part of the unit 
and you got dodged out of the field to this funny, silly cheer for your unit. After about 15 minutes of laughing and dancing to silly music, you get back into the stands to cheer your amazing woman on as they beat the other team and get to play in the state championships next week. Well, it's been an amazing these last few weeks with just good news and all the milestones I have been taking with my life. Plus, to be able to share this crazy story with people who love who I love so much and get to share it with the world as well. And this is why I love to share the crazy, funny moments amazing of my life with the people who helped me get me get to this milestone. It's the day before Thanksgiving and you're getting everything ready. See your soon-to-be parents-in-law are coming too for the next few days in your little apartment with you and Casey. Now you're just hoping to do the best and not mess up anything in front of the I-laws. But at this moment, you are just happy to spend this amazing day with your girlfriend. Well, they're almost here. You're getting scared. Because you might say something wrong or they might not like you or, well, her father thinks once you ask, you say or ask about marrying his little girl. Now that you're all sitting down for the big dinner, they seem to like so far and have pretty kind, awesome to you so far. Then you will try to pull her father aside, as you get ready to ask the most important question of your life, you get a phone call from your father who says there's been a fire at the high school. Someone burnt down half of the school and a few students didn't make it out. This is when you get really upset and then uh, upset about then and then pull Casey to the next room saying you might have to go back home. You try not to break out in tears in front of her parents who are being so kind and to see Casey already told them what happened because she spoke to your father on the phone before he hung up. And this is where you realize the most of your childhood and teen years are mostly gone and you basically grew up in that building. Well, now that you're kind of over dinner and the whole day slash night is kind of ruined, you just want to sit with Casey and talk about all the wild parties and crazy things you used to. You used to do and show the good parts of you in high school and how it was awesome that you lived in a good town for the first few years of high school until it was taken over by the new mayor. This is when Casey asked if you want to take a trip home next week, seeing it's fixing to be the holidays and you both were planning to go down anyways to show her your hometown. Now this is where you get to thinking about you have this life where it's been perfect and you don't know what people or your high school classmates will think of the new you and how you have changed and done a lot in the last nine months just joining the Army too and to be able to play football, which is still your father's favorite dream. Well, you just sit in the room with Casey and pray that no matter what happens... You still have the greatest family and friends who love you more than anything. And that's when you get a call from Ryan who is saying he just found out what happened. And he said he will be there and asked if you wanted to tag along to say no to save on gas, which is always a nice thing for him to do. But you will be taking your own car because you are staying a little longer for the holidays weekend with your family. But you tell Ryan that you are so sorry if he needs anything, that your phone is always open to leave a text or a call if you need to talk about it. Well, it's only Tuesday, and you got two more hours until you and Casey head out for a few days to Ohio to do the high school student memorial to the town and family who lost a loved one and everyone getting together for the loss of the most awesome school there was. There was in the Ohio, in the state of Ohio as you would rate it. Well, it's that time to get packing and getting on the road. See, since you are basically driving the whole way there, they saw your awesome girlfriend like that. 
because you're an awesome person. Um, you know how it means to Casey for you to drive long distance because she gets car sick too easy. Well, Casey, welcome to my hometown where things can be overdramatic or everyone knows about your life. Basically, as you pull into your father's house, you just notice not even six months ago, you were just living here and being stuck in your fantasy mind control world by the little town hated. <laughs> and then you go in and few of the teammates are already there waiting in your living room with your parents. And all you notice is your baby sister, who is the most adorable little redhead ever, and how lucky you are to get to be her big brother slash sister as well. Then you get all ready to go to the only church in the town that is still up and running. Basically, you can say it. It seems not really <laughs> building anyways as the preacher man stands in front of the room by saying, Welcome here today to honor and cherish the moments by some pretty awesome kids whose life was taken from us as a short from us on this earth. As we stay here today with six kiddos gone who were all seniors and three were on the football team you, with you and most of your school year. Now that you have cried and watched the slideshow with all the pictures of people who passed away, your father is standing up on the side fixing to call out the new Golden Star Boy was taken in the fire as well and you stand next to your father as you give the award to his family and how he will be honored in the hometown by his classmates and teammates and family and this is a small speech to Jareth John Atra who was awesome teammate player plus a good friend to have in your life I am here to say he is honored to be the class of 2020 Golden Star Boy of Cube High School in Rushler, Ohio. I am proud to say he was a great person who was always made people smile, laugh, and just outgoing personality. Well, after crying and showing Casey around and meeting a few teammates and family members as well who came to the school on honoring day, that's when she asked where was Jake at wasn't Jake wasn't as close to Jareth as the rest of you guys were. Well, yes, he was close, but not. But Jake bullied him all through middle school and the first year of high school. So I don't know if he would have shown his face or here or even gotten the letter about him. Didn't really care most about people unless you were cool or a chick he hooked up with every night. So, you guys make it back to the house for some good home-cooked dinner. And you say bye to your mom and sister since they have to get back to their normal lives. But you will see them on Saturday for the holiday for her holiday dinner with that, said, with that side of the family. And you are happy to show Casey a little more of the state and college you went for for the summer. And this is when you guys... Start heading back home, which is a long trip, but you enjoy the drive since you have Casey to make it more fun for you and you and you take a moment to realize that you're fixing to become this whole person. How can just short nine months ago you were you was this whole other person living in a fantasy world where things were different and you had to do things people told you or taught you in school or at a church. On Sunday morning, well, it's goodbye, old town. It was nice to see you. Now it's time to get back to the old life you always wanted as a child. How each day was one wish of yours came true. Each morning you woke up with the love of your life right next to you in your arms with the cute redhead of yours. Well, you have made it back to the apartment and you are excited to get back to the mini vacation for the holidays since you guys came home a little early to see both got called into work tomorrow, but at least you got to see all your family and friends, plus the town that changed you as well. And you get
get to see your father and mother for Christmas dinner in a few weeks. They get to meet Casey's parents too, which it brings back to the question, you would love to make a good dinner and then pop the question with everybody at the table. Well, I hope you enjoyed this chapter and note, they do get a little better. Well, at least it's not a fantasy anymore. But hey, I love the little crazy. I love the little crazy side. Happy Thanksgiving from the Haynes, Kingsville, and Mayor's family. And we hope you enjoy. We hope you have an amazing night. See you next time. Hey guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed that awesome chapter. Um, hopefully you got to kind of um, introduce some new characters, as you can see. Um, there is plenty to more to come in Chapter 3. Let me tell you, I'm excited to share it with you. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy it, and I will see you guys in my next video. And don't forget to comment, share, and like, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!